Greetings and welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be doing an answer question session. Today we're just going to answer the questions you can see on the board today. So today we're going to answer question 1.4.1 up to 1.4.2. So that's basically question 1.4. So let's look at 1.4.1. So 1.4.1, it says level parts A, B, C, D, E, F, and H. So we have got the parts to label here. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and H. So let's start with A. Uh, what do you think A is? So A is basically this structure which kind of looks like a pipe. So remember when you have this structure that looks like a pipe in general terms, then it means it's, a, it's part of the alimentary canal. So here you can see that this is coming from the mouth here. You can see that this is, this is a person's head and then this is the mouth. So this structure is coming from the mouth, going down, going down, going down. So what do we call that structure? It's called the esophagus or the esophagus. So is the esophagus. So the esophagus, what is its what is its responsibility is to just conduct the bolus here or to move the bolus until here through the process of peristalsis. So now we go to uh, structure number B. So structure B looks like a sac, a sac. You can see here. So how do we identify structure B? You can see that you have identified structure A with this, which is the esophagus leading to structure B. So wherever the esophagus leads to is called the stomach. So the stomach is basically responsible for the churning of the food during the chemical and the mechanical process of digestion. So we now go to structure number C. Okay, so yeah, number C. You can see number C is kind of a leaf-shaped structure. So by the leaf shape, we can identify it. And we can identify it because you can see it's just underneath the stomach, above the transverse colon, and connected to the duodenum. Therefore, it is called a pancreas. So certain things help you to identify a part. is the structure, its location. That's all. And then we go to structure number D here. You can see structure number D here is smaller than structure number F. Now we are comparing these two. You can see that structure number D comes from the stomach. We've identified where the stomach is here. So you can see that this structure is joined there. So it's a small intestine. It's a small intestine. And then we go to structure number E. You can see structure number E is connected to this structure. Here it is. You can see here it is connected to this structure here. So this structure here, structure number E is called the rectum because it is connected to structure F. The rectum. And then we go to structure number F. What is structure number F? You can see that structure number F is joined to the small intestine. Where did we get that is the small intestine? We have identified here at structure number D that this is the small intestine. It leads to structure number F which is otherwise called the colon. So you can just say this is the colon. You don't have to be specific as to is this the the descending, the ascending, or the transverse colon. So this is basically a colon. And then we now move to structure number H. This is the last structure we are told to identify. So structure number H, how can you identify structure number H? Structure number H is just behind the stomach and is connected to structure number G here. Here. This is structure number G here. So it's connected to structure number G. So how do we how do we identify it? We can identify it by its position and it's connect it's also connected to the pancreas. You can see that this is the pancreas as we have identified. Therefore, structure number H is the liver.
remember according to the digestive system the liver is connected to the to, to, to the to, to the pancreatic duct or the pancreatic vessel or the pancreatic pipe that just moves bile and pancreatic juices therefore we can review we can identify that this is the liver the colon the rectum the small intestine pancreas stomach and esophagus now we go to question number two 1.4.2 says write the letter only of the part so be careful on answering such questions letter only when they say letter only they want you to write only the letter nothing more than the letter so you have to write which letter represent a certain part so write the letter only of that part that stores bile remember that bile is produced in the liver and it is stored in the gallbladder how do we find the gallbladder in here the gallbladder is situated under the liver and is connected to the liver using a certain duct you can see this is a duct or this is some, something conducting the bile from the gallbladder here so this tells you that g is the gallbladder so which letter of is g uh, is the gallbladder is g therefore you have answered these questions successfully